Using the high-speed recording function of Webcam Laboratory, you can observe the extremely slow processes of nature. After pressing the Start Webcam button, you can select the webcam you would like to use from the scroll-down menu. Next, you should set the desired resolution. Try to set the resolution as high as possible, since this will determine the size of the recorded pictures, resulting in better quality and more detailed footage. As soon as you select the setting, the picture of the camera feed will appear. It is imminent that the camera feed is extremely bright since most webcams are designed for indoor use. In order to be able to make outdoor recordings, you have to change the settings. You can do this by using the Properties button. The Camera Settings window appears and you select the Outdoor function. Naturally, this setting can be different in case of different webcams. The camera adjusts to the outdoor mode and the clouds of the sky will immediately emerge on the screen. We will now record the movements of clouds since that is one of the most interesting and spectacular slow movements in nature. Picture frequency is the most important setting in high-speed recording. You have to set how many seconds should elapse between each frame. The less frequent the setting, the faster the recording will be when being played. You can select this setting on the right-hand side. You can see that at this moment Webcam Laboratory will take a picture every 2 seconds. Using the button below, you can select this time period between half a second and 2500 seconds. In order to observe clouds, you should use settings between 2 and 10 seconds. This time let's use 4 seconds. Now let's press the Start Recording button. Using the scroll down menu, you can select the compression mode most suitable for your computer. As soon as you select the compression, the recording will start and you can see the indicator flashing in the top left corner. The middle indicator shows the number of frames that have been recorded so far. The right one shows the total time of recording so far. In the right lower corner, a countdown timer appears showing how many seconds we have left until the next exposure. In the left bottom corner, the time and date of the recording appears, which will also show on the video being recorded. This way the recording can be identified and analyzed easily in the future. You can also delete the text showing on the camera feed. Click on the Properties tab and you can turn this indicator text off and on. Important. If you deactivate the Show Timestamp function, the timestamps will disappear from the screen and the recorded video as well. Webcam Laboratory is capable of timed recording also. Settings for timed recording can be found on the right hand side. The top row indicates the starting, the bottom one, the ending time of the recording. Clicking on the date field, you can choose the desired date from the pop-up calendar. Next to it, you can set the desired time also. Important! In order to activate the time recording function, you have to select the field at the checkbox right above the little clock icon. If you would like to stop the recording, press the stop recording button and the recorded video will appear in the recording list on the right hand side. In this list, you can see the time and date of the recording and the recorded footage length. After selecting the desired video, you can delete the recording using the red button and play it using the blue button. Using the play function, the video will appear and be played in the screen on the left hand side. The recording can be stopped, rewound and, clicking on the red button, closed. The recordings can also be found in the My Documents Webcam Laboratory folder of your computer in a .avi format.